so hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today is going to be a spicy story time on the time where i went on the worst date ever and i almost died like i kid you not i almost died like i am not even capping right now okay so if you guys want to know what happened stay tuned for this crazy ass horrible date gone wrong I have so many story times on the number of times I went on really bad dates, but this one, it tops it, okay? So, stay tuned, grab your popcorn, grab your drinks, and listen, okay? <laughs> Basically, I met this guy at the club, okay? I feel like the club is like the worst place to meet a guy, but that's just me. That's just my opinion. You're not going to find anyone serious at the club, so I'm just saying, <laughs> Okay, but what are the odds? So I was at the club with my girls. Me and my girls popped a bottle. We were there, and next to us, um, there was a group of guys, and they had their own bottles too. But they, I guess, the guys saw how me, lit me and my friends were, so they like came over to our side, and one of the guys was like talking to me, offering me a drink. Then after that, we were just talking throughout the night and just vibing and shit. Like he was cool or whatever. Like I was vibing with him and everything. So then he obviously, like, he ended up asking me for my contact. So I was like, me, honestly, when I go out, I do not give niggas my number. I give them my Snapchat, okay? Because anyways, I'm not even really on Snapchat like that. Or I give them my Instagram. But I, in this case, I gave him my Snapchat. I gave him my Snap and um, everything was fine or whatever. A few days later, he hits me up on Snapchat or whatever, okay? And he was just like, I want to take you out. And mind you, this was around the time of Valentine's Day, okay? So he was like, let me take you out on Valentine's Day. I was single anyway, so it was like, I was like, okay. I was getting over my, my ex at the time. So I said, yeah. I was like, you know what? It wouldn't hurt to go out on a date, you know, with the nigga on Valentine's Day. Like, that's, this has never happened to me before. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll go on a date with you. So this guy, he asked me, he was like, oh, are you working? I ended up working on Valentine's Day, so he said he was going to come pick me up from work. At that time, I would finish work around 9 p.m., 9.30, 9, 9 p.m. So he was like, okay, I'll come get you or whatever. So I'm like, okay, bless. Like, bless, this is going good. He's like, I made reservations at this nice restaurant. I'm like, okay, bless. Like, this is going even better. Um, so throughout the day, he texted me. He was like, oh, like, what do you like to drink? And me, I'm, I'm the type of girl, okay, I don't drink hard liquor like that. Like, if I do, like, I'll be sipping on the same cup for, like, the rest of the whole night. I'm more like a champagne type of girl or, like, wine. So I told him, I was like, okay, like, wine. Wine or champagne. Um, that's what I drink. I don't drink no hard liquor like that. So he was like, okay, bless or whatever. This is where all hell breaks loose. This was the worst date from hell. This is where it all begins, okay? Okay. So I texted the guy. I'm like, okay, I'm done work. I'm waiting at the door thinking he was going to be there. He's like, okay, blah, 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 blah. I'm on my way. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm like, he calls me. He's like, yo. Asha, I'm outside. I'm like, okay, so I'm coming up to the door. I'm like, okay, where's your car? <sighs> Guys, okay, like, I don't judge, but, like, still, okay? He's like, I'm in my car. I'm in a red Jeep. I'm like, okay, bless. I go outside to see <laughs> Family, okay? Fabs. Fabs. Okay. It was a 2005 Jeep. I'm not hating on anyone that has, like, a 2005 car but just listen to the story okay he has a 2005 car brought down like the shit is brought down and when I say brought down like like my nigga you need to, to change everything in the car like might as well just get a new car like I'm gonna try to find a, a picture of the car and insert it in the video so you guys have an idea of what the car looked like okay I'm like okay I get in the car or whatever I'm like hi not trying to be rude like the stereo was like old as fuck didn't even work or anything okay the car smelled okay there was a bunch of shit in the back of the car <sighs> okay <laughs> but it gets worse it gets worse so i get in the car and mind you he was 30 minutes late for me okay i get in the car i give him la bise we say that in french that means like bisou bisou so 
uh, right cheek, left cheek, like kisses on the cheek or whatever. So then he's like, oh, the first thing he says when I get in the car, he's like, oh, when I went to the SAQ, it seems as though everyone was drinking champagne and wine on Valentine's Day. So they were sold out of wine and champagne. So I bought you a bottle of Captain Morgan. I'm like, okay, what? Like, like so you mean to tell me <laughs> the SAQ? There was no, there was no, there was no wine and there was no champagne. Even JP Chanette, there was none. My nigga, really? Okay. But he said that there was nothing and he came back with the bottle of Captain Morgan. It gets worse. He had bought one cup from Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons is a coffee spot, like Dunkin' Donuts in the States type shit, for both of us to share. And then I was just like, okay, so where's my cup? He's like, okay, well, we're gonna stop and go get you a cup. Mind you, at this point, I was like, what the fuck is happening right now? You know, so we stop and he goes to the debt. My man brings back a 500 milliliter bottle of Chase of Coke, okay? Of Chase of Coke. I didn't even have my own Coke bottle. Like, he got himself one for us for sh to share and bought me an extra cup so we can chase and put the Captain Morgan inside, okay? So at this point, I'm just like, okay, this date is not really going as planned and it's Valentine's Day. My ass could have might as well just stayed home in my little bed and watched movies and ate ice cream, okay? <laughs> But I chose to go out on that day. It gets worse. So mind you, we're driving and this man, me thinking that we're maybe gonna stop at a spot and like drink before going to the restaurant. I don't know. I don't know how he, he planned it out in his head, but I would have thought we would have stopped somewhere. And just drinking on drive drinking and driving. Like he's literally chugging the bottle and and driving. Mind you, I start getting scared because this guy is going super fast with his bruck car. So I'm looking, you know, like I'm grabbing my seat because I'm scared, right? So I'm looking down at his seat and I see that that in his, on the, his side door, there's a hole, okay? Guys, there's a hole, okay, in his car. Like I see the highway in his car, okay? He has a hole. So I'm like, oh, like, you know you have a hole in your car? He's like, yeah, yeah, I know. This is, you know what he tells me? He's like, this is my trap car because I get stopped too much with my other car. Like, it's too flashy. And especially when I want, I'm trying to drink, I take this car. But I actually have a BMW parked at my crib, but I chose to take this one. And I was like, oh, okay. Tell me what's going on. The lies, the lies. Okay, you don't have to lie to me and tell me, like, so he shows me a picture of a car. I'm like, okay. He's like, yeah, this is my car. This is my actual car. Like, this is my trap car. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, my nigga, don't you think because you have a trap car, I don't know, low key, the police would tend to want to arrest, like stop you more than having your other car. But whatever, that's, I, I, I asked no question. Man just driving so fucking fast. I'm like, where are we going? He's like, oh, we're going downtown. I was like, oh, the restaurant is downtown. He tells me, guys, my man tells me, he's like, oh, well, I came to get you too late, so the restaurant is closed. I'm like, okay, what? <laughs> I'm like, you were late. You, you said you made my reservations. He's like, yeah, I did, but it's closed. So I'm like, wait, hold on. Let me recuperate. So one, you told me you're supposed to get me champagne. You got me Captain Morgan. You bought one cup for us to bring, bring out of. You got one chase, okay? And you have a hole in your car and you're driving lit and you're trying to kill me date gets worse so i'm like i'm hungry because in my head i'm thinking i thought i was gonna eat and it's valentine's day right i actually thought i was gonna eat so i'm hungry i don't even think i ended up i was so pissed and annoyed that night that i didn't even end up eating like i forgot i was even hungry right so so then we get downtown we're drinking at this point i'm just chugging the alcohol because i'm just 
pissed at this point, okay? I was just drinking just to forget about the night. And this guy is like, okay, like I'm gonna take you to this to this restaurant. It's like a uh, a bar type of restaurant. Like, but first, let's pick up my friend. He's at the shisha lounge. So let's pick him up and we'll go to the the resto bar. So I'm like, what? Okay. <laughs> And I go, what kind of date is this? Like, so we stopped at the Shisha Lounge to pick up his friend. It was just his friend. Me thinking it would probably been like a double date. Nah, guys. It was just me, him, and his friend. Okay. At this point, I was telling him, I'm like, drop me home. Like, I don't even care if I left 30 minutes from downtown. Like, and we did nothing. Like, drop me home. I was like low-key tipsy. And me, when I get tipsy, I get very bold. So I'm like, yo, drop me home. Like, I'm not about to like this is just too, too much i just finished a nine hour shift like take my ass home like i'm trying to go home and it's valentine's day you're ruining it for me like take me the fuck home then he's like no 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 like i i fucked up like let me let me let me just you know like show you what i'm about and like let me take you to this to the bar bar restaurant that i, I wanted to take you to you know like yes that first restaurant didn't work out but let me at least have the opportunity to take you here so me i was like okay like this guy is trying to you know like you know recuperate and like not recuperate but like make things better so i'm like okay fine whatever so then we get to the bar restaurant mind you this guy is like yeah i know like i know the the bartender there so like every we'll get free drinks and stuff like that <sighs> okay so that the guy tells me he's like okay just wait here to wait in the waiting area while he goes to the bar thinking i think he was trying to get me a bottle or whatever of like champagne of what i wanted so he goes to the bar and i see him tapping on the pad and he's taking so fucking long right he's taking fucking long to pay for the thing and so i see him now pulling out his phone and it seems as though because i'm there curious pissed and like tips at the same time looking over his shoulder not his shoulder but trying to see what him and his friend are trying to do like you know so i'm like what the fuck <laughs> what's happening i'm just here sitting alone so i see him reaching for his phone it looked like he was looking at his account type shit but then it's like if he got declined three times he comes back to me he's like oh my credit card is not working i have no space on it At this point, all I could do is fucking laugh. I'm like, man, I could take me home right now. Like, I'm gonna cry. Take me the fuck home. Like, I don't want me to be a spoiled brat, but take me the fuck home. Like, I don't know why the fuck I'm here right now. Then I'm like, take me home. He's like, no, no, no. Like, we'll go back in the car, we'll drink. What the fuck? What do you mean we're gonna go back in the car and fucking drink? I'm not fucking drinking and driving with you with your fucking pop down Jeep, okay? That has a fucking hole in it and it makes noises while we're moving. Like, you really need to take your car to the garage. And plus, your car got declined. Like, you should focus on your financing, your finances, and get your shit together before trying to take any girl out. Like, what? What? And before popping bottles in the club, because that's where I fucking met you. <laughs> So then I'm like, okay, my nigga, take me home. I'm telling him to take me home because I'm not gonna tolerate this. I don't deserve this on Valentine's Day. And I was going through like a hard breakup. Like, I'm, I don't deserve this, okay? So then on our way home, like from him dropping me home, this guy is drunk. At this point, he's driving drunk. And I told him to stop drinking. I'm like, stop drinking. Like, like I, I I'm scared like at this point I was telling him I was scared like I want you to stop drinking and drive like stop drinking if you're gonna drive me home you need to drive me home with a clear head like I'm not gonna sit here in the passenger seat and watch you kill me like that's just not gonna happen not on Valentine's Day like that's just not gonna happen so then after that like 
he wasn't listening to me. This guy was driving on the main road at like 1.40. Like, I kid you not. Like, that night, I could have dead ass lost my life. Like, and there was, in Montreal, there's so many potholes. Like, it's ridiculous. This guy was like driving over potholes like if it was nothing. Already your car is broke. I don't understand why you're trying to mash it up more. Like, literally. I could have literally lost my life. Like, I had to literally, I was gripping the thing and I was yelling in the car telling him to slow the fuck down. <laughs> like, yo, this date was just a mess, okay? I think he saw how scared I was and I was ready to take a taxi home. So he stopped, he stopped drinking and like slowed down and tried to be more careful on the road driving me home. Next thing you know, we got, we got back to my house and this guy had the audacity, guys, I, I kid you not. This guy had the audacity to ask me and be like, when am I going to see you next? like <laughs> are you kidding me right now are you are you shitting me right now like are you never my nigga we're never seeing each other again like you almost killed me i didn't eat okay we'll never forget that hole in your car that that hole was big enough for me to see the, the highway like i kid you not like <laughs> Like, I'm not even capping right now, guys. Like, his car was broke. Like, you lied to me. Your car got declined. You... <laughs> the point of the matter is, guys, that was just the worst day I had ever, ever, ever been on. After I got out of the car with the guy, thank the Lord, I got home safe because, honestly, like, I really felt like... Honestly, I really felt like I was gonna die. Like, some, I would have gotten in an accident. Probably not die, that's too much. But getting in an accident, yes. Like, in a really bad accident, yes. So, thank the Lord that I got home safe that day and I, I was safe and sound. Right after I got out of the car with that guy, I blocked him. I blocked him from everywhere. Everywhere. Period. I don't want that type of energy in my life. I deserve better okay I know my worth and that's not where it's at like you're um you know what I am not gonna judge him I will let God do that that is none of my business but I'm just saying that I deserve better so the point of the matter is guys like be careful who you guys are going on dates with make sure when you're going on dates that you guys are safe um, I was thankful because throughout the night, like I said, I was getting kind of scared that iPhone actually has this thing where it's called find my friends and my friends knew I was going on a date with a guy. So they had my location and they could have seen where I was throughout the night. I feel like that's a great way for girls, especially if you guys are going on a date with a guy and you guys are, you know, unsure of, I don't know, like not unsure. Cause I honestly, if you're unsure of a guy, don't go on a date with him just because he's going to feed you like. Nah, sis. Go on a date by yourself. Pay for your own food. Like, girls, we need to get out of this mentality where we feel like we'll just go on a date with a guy just to eat, just to get free food. Like, that's that's not cute, okay? Like, that if you are going on a date with a guy, that you let a friend know that you're going on a date with a guy. You don't have to necessarily tell them everything, but just just let them know because what if what if like something the day could have gone completely left and something could have happened to me or something like that like literally and um i learned my lesson honestly i don't want to go on a date with a guy that i just met at a club or neither that i just met um now i'm more i'm very very picky with who i i choose to give my time to i hope you guys learned something from my date gone wrong and um if you guys have similar stories or like you guys been on worst dates as well like let's have a conversation in the comment section you guys are having a blessed day and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and stay blessed <laughs> mm -hmm.